So there's a few different supplements I've taken for longevity. Of course, I, I've told you about uh, some of my supplement stack. And one of them is, of course, resveratrol. And of course, I've been taking a lot more olive oil since you gave me the little secret <laughs> about that. Uh, but what uh, I've taken two different supplements. Of course, now I'm taking NMN. I was taking NR. And you'll have to explain. I, I don't really know. Kind of, I've, I've read little blurbs as far as how they're different. But could you explain to me, what is the difference between NR and NMN? Yeah, we actually get this question a lot from our customers. We're receiving emails with this question every now and then. So yeah, that's uh, definitely something that interests a lot of people. So um, NR is nicotinamide riboside and NMN is nicotinamide mononucleotide. And um, there was a debate about which one is the, the most efficient supplement to boost your NAD levels. But what happens is that NR needs to actually be converted into NMN first in order to boost your NAD levels. And this means that, um, you know, once, once it enters the cells, there is an extra step that it needs to do uh, before it can boost efficiently your NAD levels. And there was a bit of a debate there because NMN is actually a slightly bigger molecule than NR. So people were wondering whether it's NR would be more efficient. But what we found is that there is an NMN specific cell transporter, which means mm -hmm. that once you take NMN, there is a transporter that allows it to enter the cells. And given the fact that it's an immediate um, NAD precursor, that means that NMN converts into NAD in just one step. This means that it actually can be much more efficient. And this is actually um, reflected in some of uh, some of the studies that have been conducted so far. So um, I, uh, I also looked into this because I was curious uh, to see, you know, how, how do they compare? And there is a, a study from 2021 that does show that that NMN increase car, um, uh, cardiovascular fitness, but there is a study on NR that actually shows that NR uh, failed to do so. So this is very interesting because um, it, it's, it was a similar bio, similar biomarkers were measured, but NR did not manage to increase cardiovascular fitness. And then also there is uh, a 2018 study that shows that NR did not manage to uh, to alter or to increase insulin sensitivity, while the 2021 um, April study on NMN with pre-diabetic women actually does show that it it does increase insulin sensitivity. So that's um, pretty interesting to keep in mind, and I think that the evidence is kind of uh, showing that NMN uh, is the most efficient. Uh, an AD precursor so far. You remove one extra step, you're straight into the cell. Mm -hmm. It yeah. just makes sense. Hey everybody, this was a part of my ongoing conversations with Dr. Sarah Nova. If you're interested in learning more, please take a look at the links below. Uh, and also remember there is a discount code there if you'd like to order some, uh, some of NMN from NMN Bio. Uh, that is her company. So hope you enjoyed this video. Look for more to come.